following on from my previous video, we got to this stage here. We got to uh, we got to we got to this stage here. We've got our unit tangent. So remember, we've got a particle moving around an ellipse. We're trying to keep track of the unit's normal and the unit tangent. We've done the unit tangent, so, so we now need to work out the unit normal, okay, which is this purple vector here. Anyway, uh, so now we've got our, our unit tangent. So, uh, so once you've got your unit tangent uh, of length one, if you if you um, differentiate it, it will give you a, a new vector that is that is um, that that is orthogonal to the unit tangent, the unit tangent. Uh, so, so if you differentiate it, that that would then give you something like this. You can imagine it as this. And then if you want the if you want it of length one, uh, then then you divide it by its magnitude. So imagine this thing here is a, of length, let's say three, and then when you divide it by its magnitude, it will it will then give you the a length of one. So so the normal vector is u, is u differentiating the unit tangent. So our next step is to differentiate our unit tangent. So our next step is to differentiate this thing here. So differentiating it. So let uh, looking at the uh, the x component only. So, uh, so if you differentiate it, it will then give you this whole thing here. Uh, we we will sort out the y component later on. So I'm I'm going to make a new notation. So when you differentiate the unit tangent, uh, and we're just looking at the x component, x component, and then I'm going to give I'm going to put a, a random star here to denote that we are just looking at the x component only, because th this thing here is just too long to to put two of them side by side. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look at this one only. So when you differentiate this and looking at the x component only, differentiate this. So we now need to differentiate this. We will leave uh, we will leave this uh, for later. So differentiating this, let's use the um, let's use the uh, quotient rule. So the quotient rule is you square the denominator. So when you square this, it will then give you this, and then. Uh, Leave the v alone. Differentiate the u. So this is a, your u here. If you differentiate this, it will then give you this. Leave the v alone. So this is your our v here. So this is our v here. And then you you uh, you minus you minus, but you you minus. L later on, there's another minus uh, that it then turn into a positive. Well, anyway, use the uh, use the quotient rule. Differentiate it. That will then give you this thing here and then now it's just a matter of tidying this up so when when you look at this here your 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 eyes should zoom into this bit here because you've got a, a negative uh, a negative a half here in your mind visualize it as negative a half is this thing here one over that square root and then you've got this thing here which gets multiplied to the top and then you've got uh, oh you've got your half here so you can imagine this half here and then this thing here gets multiplied to the top so that will then give you, that will then give you uh, this thing here. So um, have a think about it. If you differentiate this whole thing, well, if you tidy this up, that will then give you this thing here. Okay. So so um, this thing here is this thing here, and then and then uh, this thing here. We we're gonna move it to over here. Well, do whatever you want. Um, it's just it's just a matter of tidying this thing up now. So we are currently here. So now we want to merge these two together. You've got one fraction. Let's turn this into a fraction, and then uh, multi Well, you want the two denominators to be the same. You want these two denominators to be the same. So you times um, top and bottom by by this thing here. But by the way, this will cancel out with this, uh, and so on. If you tidy it up, it will then take you to to here, and then uh, the two denominators are the same. So we can merge, we can merge these together here. So that will then give us. So uh, so this this whole thing here will then become this, and then you've got divided by divided by this thing here, this thing here. So uh, so so now you've got a fraction divided by this thing. This thing here gets multiplied to the bottom. Notice that this is exactly the same as this thing here. So it would then become, it would then become this. And then if you tie up the uh, the numerator, that would then give you this thing here. 
and then it's blah 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 uh, tidy up and it will then give you this thing here so this is the x component so now we need so now going back to the unit tangent we've done we've differentiated the x component we've just done this which is which is this thing here now we need to look at the y component so differentiating the y component so let's make up a new notation let's just put a line here and put a pretty star on top of it um, so, so we are just looking at we are differentiating the unit tangent but just looking at the y component so differentiating this will then give us this whole thing here and then tidy up it will then give you blah 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 it will then give you 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 this thing here it will then give you this thing here and then if you tidy this up it will then give you this thing here and uh, earlier we worked out the x component so when you differentiate the unit tangent it will then give you this thing here okay so now we've got our now we've got this thing here we've just differentiated our, our unit tangent so uh, so now we need to divide by its magnitude so to get the norm the units normal we will need the uh, the magnitude so once we've got our once we've got this thing here we need to work out its magnitude so now we need to work out the magnitude of this thing here so the magnitude will be the magnitude will be this whole thing here squared that will then give us this thing here uh, and then this whole thing here squared that will then give us this thing here add the two together and then square root both of them that will then be this so the magnitude is given by this thing here and then if you tidy this thing up it will then give you this thing here so now we've got our, our, our magnitude so the um, the the units normal is given by you differentiating the unit tangent and then dividing it by its by the magnitude of this thing here which would then be this thing here because if you look at this this is this factor here and then when you divide it by its magnitude remember its magnitude is given by this so uh, so if, if you get if you get this divided by this it would be this looking at the x component this thing divided by this thing here so you've got two fractions um, divided by this thing here would be you up uh, now dividing it by dividing it by by c over d is the same as a over b times the reciprocal of this d over c so but well this thing divided by this thing will then give you will then give you this okay and then if you get this thing divided by its magnitude again that will then give you that will then give you this thing here and then if, if you jump to your your graph plotter it, it should give you this thing here so if you if you punch in this uh, if you punch in this thing here I don't know if you can see it but um, uh, depending on your graphical calculator um, uh, if you punch this into De Desmos, it should give you uh, what I've got there. So hopefully you can see what I'm showing you. Um, it's hard for me to illustrate it. Bear with me. Bear with me. So this is uh, this is what you have to punch in uh, for our normal vector. You, you, you're going to have to figure this out for yourself how to do it on your on your graphical calculator because it varies. But for me, I would have to punch this in. And then for, for for the second part, I would have I would have to punch this in. Hang on, oops, bear with me. I hope you can see all this. Uh, if you punch this in, it will um, it will be you be able to animate it like I have. So hopefully that will work. I hope you can see that. But it should give you uh, an animation looking like this as it moves around. Okay. So our normal vector is given by, our units normal vector is given by this, okay?